How do I feel about being uh, a member of the Information Society? That's a difficult question because I didn't know we were in the Information Society. I hope you're not feeling too bad about the World Cup situation if you're in the UK, but uh, Tel Aviv. So we're back into the brewery today. I've got the camera facing this way because that chiller unit is on. And while I know I can talk over it, I don't want the audio crashed. Uh, this morning I have got to get the, uh, the bitter tank empty because I managed to get 12 casks and uh, fill them up with the beer. They're gonna go on the pub this weekend. I'm also expecting my casks to be delivered sometime next week, at a push the week after. So I'm gonna get up there, we're gonna spray out that tank, we're gonna drain all the crap out and down the drain. And uh, hopefully this hay fever kicks off a little bit. My sinuses are absolutely bunged, so Without sneezing on camera too much, we're going to get the hose pipe out and uh, clean, clean FV1. And we'll have a look as well inside as to what exactly is left behind after we've taken all the beer out and uh, make sure that it looks nice and clean when we're finished. We're going to recirculate some caustic when we're done. Uh, this caustic is called Cosgleam. It's actually what we use as well for cleaning casks. That's what you use to clean the casks and then you rinse the Cosgleam away because it's obviously nasty stuff. And then you'll just dash it quickly with acid before you put the beer in. Exactly the same process with these tanks. The only difference today is we're not putting any beer in. Let's get to it. So I'll quickly spin you around. Hopefully you can't hear that too badly. We'll just lift the lid of life on this bad boy and you will see that inside whoo what an aroma that is all the yeast big chunks of nottingham ale in there you can see that we got quite a lot of beer out of the tank and uh here's the tide mark where she started so that gave us uh, 12 casks, actually 13, but two of them are pins that I've got. I will do a casking video at some point in the future. Oh my gosh, yeah, you've got to get this out as quick as you can because you can see it's already starting to bake on. There's some real big chunks of yeast in there as well, look at that. Let's hope it flushes out. Ne problemo. An absolute treat. We barely spilled a drop. Bring you in a bit closer for a shot. You can see what we've got in there. That's the spent yeast and the dry hop bubbling away. And you can see we've got some of the more solid stuff. Some of the more solid cake coming out of the valve, which is why this is why I gave it a two-inch valve, you see. To allow all of this bad boy to come dropping out. Oh, what a shot. So, quickly dash back up top and have a look how much is in the tank and exactly what's going on. And we'll get to learn the process. Well, there we are. 
literally just a little bit of foam on the top and the rest of the yeast cake is draining straight through which is perfect I bring the hose pipe up here and we'll dash that out a couple of quick rinses and then we'll get the caustic straight in it's looking good oh beautiful look at that just filtering out beautiful get it in shot Harry you dope just look at her just look at her I'm sure you can hear in the background the beautiful sound of the caustic rinse pump so that's running uh, I'm going to turn it off in a second because I'm going to 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 because I'm going to nip across to work so so you might recall that back in January I think it was we used some grain sacks as webbing at the bottom of some of these chairs that we re-upholstered oh it's like there's bum cheeks on it look and uh, well it's failed it's failed, it's frayed we've got some of the proper stuff here the proper hessian webbing so I need a staple gun because the last one broke and I need some staples also so it's screw fix time so I'm going to turn the lights off grab the keys and we'll go over to workshop to screw fix and at the same time maybe take a chance for a little walk down the canal oh bless it So we've just been, <laughs> dog poo bag, <laughs> I'm not sniffing it really, that looks strange. Uh, so yeah we've just been to screw fix, picked up a baton light for under the uh, under the stairs where I weigh the grain and stuff out and the hops and uh, also got some staples to repair those chairs that we're talking about and a big heavy duty uh, Stanley staple gun. And then we've just parked up in the lock keeper's car park and had a walk down the Chesterfield Canal um, in Worksop, the Rhodesia section or Sandy Lane, end of Sandy Lane if you like. It really is bloody gorgeous. I must say I've never walked down this section of the canal before and the fact that there's a pub that does, uh, it is a Marston's like the lock keepers, but the fact that it does grub as well, I might have to come here on the weekend with the kids. Chance? His leaves fell off. Come here, boy. Let's put that round your neck again. We'll just tuck it in, sweetheart. How's that? So, yeah, the plan is to walk just to this corner, turn around. He's had a wee and a poo, so he's an happy boy. And then uh, we'll get back to work. It's just gone 12 o'clock, so nice little lunch break. I don't normally take him. I should. So we have an LED Eco Climate single LED tube light which I'm going to pop just around that corner where we do the hops and grains and then we've picked up a selection of Una Staples staples and a staple gun so this has got really good ratings on the old Screwfix website it's a Stanley heavy duty jobby aluminium die cast frame 
and apparently it takes uh, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 millimetre staples. And it should be good enough for this kind of thing. So let's crack into it. First I'll have to take the cover off here and cut some strips of this hessian. Uh, but after I've done that, I'll show you the old uh, pump action live on the YouTube TV folks. So another one bites the dust, another one buys a duster. Right, we'll take this back up to the pub and exchange it for another one. Right, I'm zoomed down above the drain. So I thought it'd be interesting to have a look inside the beer that we took out of that tank this morning. Now it's had time to sediment out a little bit. Well, not the beer, the yeast. So we're going to be able to see the yeast cake come out and we can just inspect it a wee bit. So that's mainly just beer being poured off the top. And then these look like good healthy yeast cells coming out. I should probably zoom in a little bit on this. So if at any time in the future we want to start to collect our own yeast, which we will do, then we need to see how it settles out and the quality of it when it comes out. Here we go, look. So this is the thick trub. So this now contains all the dry hot pellets. It's still quite a loose material. And then down at the bottom, that looks like all the dead dead yeast cells so not a lot to worry about there probably in the region of 17 litres of trub out of that one fermenter not a lot really is it so likes in what do you think it's pretty damn good right well these lights from Screwfix are 34 pound they actually come with the fitting and a bulb which is a decent, well, it's everything you need to get lit and rocking easy installation just cable in cable out for the switch one end and uh, yeah some lumens she's kicking out some lumens so we've got a lovely workspace now over here where we can see what we're doing it's a good thing yeah Right, so get off my man boobs up here. It is getting on now, it's gone four o'clock. I've got to go to the school tonight. Dominic's not violin, ding ding ding, playing guitar a little bit, and uh, all of his class. Yeah, I'll have to sit through that, but it's the dad thing to do. Uh, but I think it's been a good day, it's been warm, it's had a nice walk with Chance, it's good. We've got the tank cleaned out, I think. Uh, I'm just going to leave the caustic sat in there for a couple of days, it's not going to do any damage. And then come in tomorrow, rinse that out, get prepped up, make sure we've got the beers on the bar because the boys are coming over on Saturday and we're going to be drinking, we are going to be drinking Harrison's Brewery beers. Frick yes! We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>